Welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to go to the other side of the media bin. And what we're going to find is we're going to find the media library. The media library has a number of effects that Camtasia, when you purchase the program, gives you in order to enhance your video. And so each one of these can be dropped right into your presentation. And we'll show you how to do that right now. So for example, you will want to go through each one of these, but they all work basically the same way. So let's start with animated backgrounds. And so you'll see here that you have ones called floating boxes. And what you can do is you can right click and you can add it to the timeline at the playhead. Now what you'll notice here is that it goes on to a third track. When you add on a new animation, a good practice would be to go to the track and rename the track. So in other words, we would go and rename this track to boxes. Now in order to alter the box, all we'd need to do is to drag the timeline in and then to place on the box whatever we want to place it in. In order to preview it before we go to the timeline, all we need to do is to right click it and then click preview. And you'll be able to see what this animation is going to look like. When you decide that you do not want to have this animation, all you need to do is highlight it, and delete it, bring your cursor back to the home space, and then you can add another one. We'll preview it. That's not the one that we want. We will take a look at another one. We'll preview it. And then we'll close this one. And then once again, we can add it to the timeline. We can rename our track. So in each case, you'll want to take a look at the different elements. You want to preview them. Or in, and then add them to the timeline. Now one thing you'll notice is that there are properties to each one of these elements. And you can do different and you can alter them in different ways. For instance, you can turn them to give them a different look or revert them back. We can make them more opaque or more invisible. So you want to take a look at the properties to change the image to be what you want. If you want to do something to the image, perhaps you'd like to write on the image. Well, all you'd need to do is to add on an annotation. And what you'll notice when you add on the annotation is that it's going to be on a different track on the timeline. It's going to be the same length as the apartment but we can actually lengthen it or we can shorten it. So you have a lot of flexibility with the library and you can do a lot of different things. Anything that you want to do in terms of being able to denote something that you see that you want to illustrate to your audience. So we're going to delete this text and the apartment. And we're going to delete these tracks. And we're going to go back to the media bin. Now one useful factor, and you'll want to go through each and every one of these media library pieces, and you will want to take a look to see how they can be used in your videos. Now all of the other graphics are visual in nature, except for the music tracks. And in this particular case, these are music tracks that are royalty free and you can use them in your videos. You can preview them and you can add them to the timeline. You can alter their timeline. For example, you can take this particular audio, you can lower the volume, you can do that in the properties, and you'll notice that when you lower the volume, you can actually see that volume visually. So if you want to play background music, you can use some of the clips in your media library. So in each particular case, remember that the process is going to be that you'll want to preview it first. Then you'll want to put it onto the timeline. 
then you'll want to drag your cursor into the timeline and then you want to alter it. Lastly, as we leave the media library, you'll notice that Camtasia has given you something called lower thirds. And this is a way of identifying yourself or identifying something that you see on the screen. In some cases, when you have a talking head video or it is a video of a person talking, you can actually add in an identifier. For example, let's add in the lower third. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag into our timeline. And then what we're going to do is we're going to edit this. And we can double click the timeline can change the wording. Okay, we can change the color. Once again, remember, we're going to look at the properties. We're going to change it. And we can reposition any of the library options on the screen there where we want them. We can also determine how long they're going to appear. And we can do that by lengthening the time that they appear or shortening the time. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.